it's another skills Friday where we learn how to get our skill ready for the game so we ain't out there looking lame. Go gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment to our content. We are here to help you. Turn from cheese to the macaroni and cheese, man. Yeah, hell, it's another Skills Friday. And today we're going to talk about how to catch a football every time. I know a lot of people seen my last video, seen my other videos where I was talking about catching the football every time. And this is necessarily where to grab the ball. I understand people understand that. Uh, well, I don't necessarily understand how to catch certain passes in the game and different passes come from different places and I understand that this is a great video, but blah, 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 Turn it here, bro. I'm, I'm sick of y'all talking, asking them crazy questions. So I'm, I'm going to define everything here. So first and foremost, catching the ball can be a difficult thing. We understand this. We drop passes in the game. It happens to the best of us. So second, we need to understand the trajectory of the ball. If the ball is coming straight at you, that's a different type of pass than a ball that's coming over your shoulder or a ball that, or a deep pass in the game where you're running a deep post in the game. You need to understand how the ball is coming at you in the game. And this helps with understanding the trajectory of the ball. So I know what you're thinking, where should I grab the ball? So first and foremost, we need to actually understand it depends on a couple factors. It, defend, it depends on the strength of our hands. If you don't have, if you have strong hands, you should attack the ball and receive it. So you should go up and get the ball. But at the same time, understand that you have your hands have to be relaxed and you have to receive the ball but if your hands aren't as strong you need to you should receive the ball so like this this is a little different because you shouldn't attack the ball as much i know a lot of people say well when i attack the ball and my hands are stiff they bounce off the ball they bounce off my hands like bricks yes because you're extremely stiff and your hand your hands aren't that strong so you need to understand that you just just are working to worry on receiving the ball just worry on taking the ball in and you should actually do this with a partner if somebody's just throwing you the ball just practice receiving the ball just catching it just taking it in next we need to understand the direction where the ball is coming from if the ball is coming straight at your face this is where you should make the diamond and grab the fat of the ball this is very important practice with the ball that has a stripe on it college football high school football middle school football i understand uh some youth balls have this have have the stripe as well and that's very important focus on the stripe and try to grab the fat of the ball very very important because if you don't if you try to grab the back of the ball or try to grab the i know a lot of people try to grab the front and be like oh i'm focusing on the diamond and making sure that the ball comes into my point like bro you focus on the point of the ball, you, you're not at that level yet. You gotta grab the fat of the ball. Grab the part of the ball that's going to be the easiest part to grab, which is the fattest part of the ball, which is the middle of the ball. Also, second, if the ball is coming over your shoulder, just like I made a video about a month ago, if the ball is coming over the shoulder, you wanna grab the sides of the ball on the fat of the ball. Your hand should be under the ball. This is very important because if you're trying to attack the ball with the diamond and the ball is coming over your shoulder, it's an easy drop. Just like when people try to catch slants across the middle with the diamond. Um, some people that works, some people it's very hard. It takes away from your vision. You can't see the ball all the way in. So it's gonna be hard to catch a pass like that. So you need to make sure that you're grabbing the fat of the ball on the sides of the ball and your hand should be under the ball. Third, if the ball is above your head, grab the fat of the ball. It's that simple. Like if there's somebody's throwing a jump ball, Go for the fatter ball if it's easily grabbable. <clears throat> That's very important. And last but not least, if the ball is below the chest, aim to grab the back of the ball and try to body this catch. I'll, this is a very tough thing to do. I probably will do a separate video on it. But when the ball is below your chest, you want to make sure you're grabbing the back of the ball just to secure the ball in while it's coming in. Peace. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or real on that field or extort on that court. The No Bottle Left Behind Act supports this video. You feel me?